<coughs> Hi YouTube, this is your girl Sandra, aka Simply Love, and I'm here, <coughs> excuse me, to do your mid-month reading. Um, this is going to be for the sign of Libra. How you Libras doing? Welcome to my channel. Um, this is going to be for sun, moon, and rising signs and Venus, okay? So there is no gender on uh, any of the court cards because male and female is watching, okay? And, um, what else? You guys know the drill already, don't you? Keep tired of hearing the same thing over and over again, but, you know, there's newcomers and they may not know. Um, oh, and we have the major arcana cards that, Major, when I say major arcana, that, that's um, spirit, you know, giving you direction, giving you what they think that you should do as we go on at on the reading. So what I'm going to do first is just read intuitively for you, and um, I don't know how long I'm be doing this because I have to keep shuffling online every time I read intuitively. It's going to be without the ball this time. I know y'all want like the ball and all that, but um, um, I got to get these mid months out, and I got you know I had readings, I had late last night when I usually don't even do on weekends but you know sometimes emergencies happen people need somebody to talk to so I did all that anyhow let's get on with the reading okay this is from the mid month into the end of the month for the sign of Libra Neither the first thing I'm picking up for you is what I'm hearing is something about um, a sickness or an illness or somebody just need rest. There could be sickness or illness in the family or this could be happening to you. You may be on some type of bed rest or some type of sickness going on with you or someone around you. Okay, for some of you Libras out there, does, if it ain't resonating with you, I ain't talking about you. Or some of you just need to get some rest or something. Something's going on with you, Libra, as far as, you know, maybe um, feeling achy or sick or something going on around you. A person may be like that that's around you. Um, there could be something like some type of an ending, okay? Okay. It could be an ending of a relationship, or it could be an ending of a um, of a, of a life. Okay, and I'm just gonna call it the way I'm hearing it. So sorry, but that's what I'm hearing: an ending of a life, or an ending of um, a relationship, or something like that. I, I do feel that sorrow. Um. I feel like there's somebody going to come out of nowhere or something or, you know, you may be watched or somebody may be watching you, you know, from afar, from a distance. I don't know, maybe they heard about this illness or sickness or death or something like that. And, you know, maybe they just trying to give their condolences or whatever from afar. I feel like... um yeah, it's going to be some rumors or something floating about or it's going to be some kind of somebody's going to tell somebody something about a situation. It's going to be like a, a meeting about this person who is sick or if you're sick or something's going on here with illness and, and something like that. Sorry about that, uh, Libra, but that's what I'm picking up right now. So I believe there's going to be visitors. If, if it's not you know, any of you, you know, somebody around you or somebody you may know, okay, you might find this out. So that's all I'm, that's all I'm hearing now. Let's get to the cards, okay? My head got dizzy on that one. There might be some kind of rumors or gossip or something. Somebody hears something about something that's going on. Let 
And it could be about somebody watching you too, or you watching somebody. I don't, I don't know what's up with that. That's all I'm keep hearing. Somebody watching from afar, or checking up, or something. I don't even know. I keep. Uh, I'm sorry. I keep shuffling. I keep hearing stuff. I keep hearing more and more stuff. I don't know. It's something murder, suicide, something. Okay. Uh, just getting your cards now. See what we can see here. Yeah, this that intuitive had nothing to do. I don't think with a lover. It could be for some of you, but it seems strange. It just seems weird. Whatever this situation is. Uh, comment in the uh, comment section. Let me know if you if if it if it resonated with some of you. Not having a good feeling about that one. Give me a few minutes to get these cards shuffled. I know it takes a few minutes for them to fall. I just let them fall out, okay? All right. One more, you guys. Excuse me. <laughs> I always do that. I'm so ignorant sometimes when it comes to belch. I belch anywhere. The movies, out in public, anywhere I do it. It just comes out. I, I ain't trying to be ladylike. I just had some tea, so sorry. My bad. All right, let's see what we got going on here for Libras, okay? For the month of mid month until the end of the month, okay? I feel like there's a page of swords here. The pages always bring messages. Um, the messages that they bring, especially with the page of swords, are a little harsh or maybe, you know, really straightforward. This is your energy. So you could be delivered a message, a harsh message to somebody, you know, about something. And it's going to leave you conflicted. This is your energy, too. It's like you got to make a choice or something or is this like something you don't want to see or you don't want to hear. Whatever this message is that you're giving somebody or something, or it could be somebody where you're dealing with the same sign. I don't know, but um, you don't want this, this message or whatever that may be coming to you or you giving to someone else is like is conflicted. Uh, somebody, you know. They're crossing their uh, swords here. They don't want to hear it. Whatever it is, they don't want to hear it and they don't want to see it. They don't want nothing to do with it. Okay? If that's you, there needs to be some healing or something like that going on. But there's some communication that somebody's that you're going to give to somebody or something and they don't want to hear it. Okay? That's all I can tell you. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to deal with it. They're closing themselves off. Um... And you're waiting for some a decision. I don't know something. And then we got the Queen of Cups or the King of Cups. All right, so it can be the King or the Queen of Cups. And this is a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, and this person's waiting around. Um, they want to offer love. There's a, a love offer being here, but somebody is conflicted or something, or they just don't want to be, they don't want to deal with it at all, you know, or they just like, don't want to see it, don't want to deal with it. They're not, somebody's not ready or something to offer their love to someone or someone offering their love to you. And the two of wands is showing me or telling me that, um, either you or this person that you're trying to offer love to has already moved on or they made plans or making plans to move on with their life okay that's what the two of wands means action um uh, is somebody planning thinking uh you know and they're just not going to accept this offer there's a love offer here but they're not going to they're not going to accept it whether it's you doing this to someone or someone's doing this to you 
You're not going to accept the offer. If you're offering your love to someone or someone's offering their love to you, it ain't happening. Sorry. Let's see here. Let's see what we got. Any additional messages is from this Eight of Coins. And this is somebody talk. They're talking about somebody um, trying to build something or trying to, um, you know, get money or something like that. Somebody's working hard or on their own. Somebody's trying to build something on their own. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. They're trying to do their own thing and make, you know, save their money up and all that kind of stuff, okay? Um, and then the next card we have is the, um, what the hell does that say? Judgment. Uh, judgment talks about, you know, a wake-up call, okay? So there's some information being here, okay? Somebody trying to inform somebody about something that's got to do with love because the king and queen of cups is here and they want to offer it. But... Somebody is like they're they they they're saying no, they're refusing, they're refusing your love, Libra. You're refusing their love, and this is a wake up call for you. Okay, that, that you know, saying it loud and clear. It's like it's loud and clear. Can you hear it? Can you hear SOS? 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 Can you hear that, Libra? Or you're doing this to someone else. And we got the hermit here, but the hermit's in reverse. So somebody's not thinking about what they're doing before they do it. Before they open their mouth, they're not thinking about nothing. The hermit, right side up, we're talking about a Virgo here, okay? Um, but they're in the reverse. So, and this may be... This may be the, the one that's saying no or... Without even, you know, they didn't even think and they're not going to take no more time out with it is what I'm seeing here. Whoever it is that you're offering your love to, they're not taking no time out with it. They're not going to think about it no more, nothing. They're just focusing on their future, okay? Um, then we got the Knight of Coins. Again, this is a... Uh, this is a, some kind of... Um, this is a Earth sign. And they're they're busy, you know. They're really really busy, and I feel like they put in a lot of work or a lot of effort in something here, but they're not going to anymore because they're in reverse. It's like they're tired, um, and they're just not even going to you know give it no thought or nothing. If if this is who you're offering your love to, or they offer your love to you, somebody saying no. Okay, so some of y'all could be. Um, your own sign, Libra, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra energy. I'm getting, I'm getting the Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy. I'm getting all the energies, really. Uh, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. A Sagittarius in general. A Virgo. Okay, let's see if we can get some more information. Yeah, somebody's being a pest or a pain in the ass. Somebody, you know, like the like to live the high life or something. You see her with them shopping bags. She got that that thing twisted over the side side of her head and all that. And it's like, hey, wake up, you know, wake up to all this shopping shit, and wanting all kind of stuff and. Buying all kinds of expect somebody to do it for you, but hey, you got a wake up call because whoever you try to get all this stuff from is just like saying, you know, drop dead. Sorry, <laughs> for some of you, they may be jumping right back in the situation. Who knows? You guys got to leave me some comments in the comment section. Okay, let me try to get a few more. Um, And it's time to wake up and smell the coffee. It ain't all about you, okay? It ain't all about you, baby. Hmm. 
You're going to get new love, all right, for some of you. And um, you want freedom. All right. Some of you, you know, like I said, are going to get, you You are going to offer somebody love or new love or rekindling for some of you, but that person don't want it. Okay. They're rejecting your love. Okay. If it's you doing this. Okay. Now let's see what my little index cards have to say. I've written something on each and every one of them uh, through spirit as I was writing them. So I'm just going to pick one of them and uh, that's going to be it. Too many fell out. Y'all know I like to get straight to the point and boom, that be it. I thought it was going to fall out, but it didn't. And uh, they're telling you action speaks loud in words, so listen, hey. Here you go with judgment. That's action oriented. So action speaks louder than words. So if you're out there trying to get, you know, offer your love to somebody, they don't want it. Okay. They want to free themselves from you. Okay. Or or vice versa. That's what the message is for you. If you feel like you need a personal private reading, just let me know. My information is below. Um I am going to uh, make a separate video on the ones that we, uh, last week when we had our um, our talk, we had our uh, we were on live live on um, YouTube, and all you guys came in and we talked and and sent some messages out for some people. So all of you who did that, I'm going to send out a separate video either tonight or tomorrow. Please give me the two days. It's not going to be a prize for everybody because I don't have enough prizes for everybody. But the ones that I do choose, I'm going to you know email you and you send me your address to where you want those prizes to be. And I also want to thank the person who ever sent me this print CD. You didn't put a return address on there. Um, so I don't know who you are, but I did put it on Facebook too, in case it was somebody on Facebook and they're not on YouTube. Thank you so very much. I really uh, I enjoyed it. It's very nice. The music, each and every song on here is nice. It's called Prince, um, 1958 to 1993. And it's called Come. Come. I love this. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, whoever you are. Blessings to you. Um... Y'all can find me on Instago on my own site there. Just in type uh, the information will be below in the, in the field too. All you have to do is click on it. It'll take you right to my site or uh, uh, my Instago website on um, on Instago where you can ask some questions. You can just like ask a few questions real fast. You know, you can text me, um, you can call me, or you can video. You know, we can see each other video to video. Okay, on that app, and that's just, like I said, that's just for if you just want some short you know, short answers, you know, a yes or no, or, you know, something really, really short. That's what that's for. Okay. Other than that, if you need a full private reading, you know what to do. So I'm going to end that with love is all there is and love is all there ever be. You guys take care of yourself and have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. Take care now. See you in January. Bye-bye.